welcome to a new episode of Road Back to India. I'm so excited to go back in September or October. I know with every episode someone asks me, when are you going back? When are you going back? So please feel free to answer those questions if you know the answer because the answer is September or October. I'm not, you know, I don't know which date, <laughs> but basically in those months. So this week I thought it would be cool to talk about the preliminary route route is that how you say it i don't know man anyways the places that i want to visit in india and uh, you know the, the the road which i want to follow so let's just take a look at india's map and then i'll tell you what i definitely want to see and if you guys have any recommendations holla at your girl i need all the help that i can get or at least I can appreciate all the help that I get from you guys because you are awesome. So this is India and India is huge. Usually people advise you to either visit the north or the south. What I want to do this time, I want to fly to, I guess to Mumbai because I definitely want to go back to Mumbai. Is this more useful for you guys if you zoom in? Yeah. Somebody told me that it was like so much nicer to watch if you record this with QuickTime. But for those of you guys who follow me for a longer period of time, you know I'm hashtag lazy. So I hope you guys can bear with me this way. So I want to fly to Mumbai, stay there for a couple of days because I adore Mumbai. It's one of my favorite places in the world. Then I want to go to Rajasthan, to Jodhpur. No, actually, wait, I think this is going to be the, the route. So I want to fly to Mumbai, stay there for a couple of days, go to Udaipur, go to Jodhpur, go to what is this ja jaipur go to agra see the Taj mahal and from there i'm lost and i'm lost because of this i will probably have three months to travel through india somebody told me like go to ladakh where's ladakh let me look up ladakh i've heard that's an amazing gorgeous place where is it <gasps> Like, it's completely like all the way in the north. Wait, let me show you. New Delhi is over here. So I can make New Delhi from Agra. And then Ladakh is all the way over here. This is so far away. I think maybe it would be best to fly if I want to see it. But you know, at the same time, I definitely also want to go back to Kochi and do yoga with Saji again for at least like two weeks. And maybe visit Munar as well. It's supposed to be incredibly gorgeous. So, what to do, what to do. Should I start in the south then? Like fly to Kochi, do two weeks of yoga, visit Munar. Because Munar is like a day trip away. Visit Munar for a weekend or a couple of days, come back. So that would cost me maybe in total three weeks. Go to Mumbai, that would be four weeks. I think I, could, I should do that. Yeah, so I think these are my preliminary thoughts. I think I should fly to Kochi, do yoga for two weeks and visit Munar in between. So I have like a total visit in the south for three weeks. No, four weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. So three weeks in the south. Start out there. Go to Mumbai. That's four weeks. Stay in Mumbai for a couple of days. Oh, also I want to do something else in Mumbai. There's like a comic con. I saw it on um, on uh, Anisha's channel, Rikshavali. I want to go. Like she, like you should definitely check out her channel, Rikshavali. She's so hilarious. I love her videos. And she went to Comic Con. It looked like so much fun. And I asked my brother and Anjit, do you guys want to go with me, like in Mumbai next December? And they were like, yeah, we're game. So I definitely want to go there too. Taking all of this into account, I would have to be back in Mumbai in December. If I want to be in Mumbai in December, because the visa is only valid for three months, I would have to leave in October. So there we go with like a departure date. If I leave in October and spend like one month, four weeks in the South and Mumbai, then spend, for instance, one month traveling, you know, Jaipur, Jodhpur, Udaipur, Agra, New Delhi. That would be one month. Then go to Ladakh for maybe like one or two weeks. No, because it doesn't add up. No, that doesn't add up at all. I, oh gosh, this is such a headache. So, should I spend less time in the south then? 
Okay, so let me just write all of this down to give you an idea of what the what our route will look like. What if I leave on, let's just take a hypothetical 1st of October, Amsterdam, Kochi, then spend three weeks there, so until the 21st of October, fly from Kochi to Mumbai and Kochi I, I definitely want to visit Munar so that would also have to happen in those th three weeks then spend a week another week in Mumbai so that's like uh, or at least like, you know five days or something like that I don't know three to five days something like that so let's say I will arrive in Mumbai on the 21st of no 22nd of October and then stay there until the, well, stay there, arrive at the 22nd and stay there until the 27th. Let's just think about that. And then we have, you know, Jodhpur, Udaipur, um, what is the other? Jaisalmer, I guess. Yeah, Jaisalmer. Um, Agra. And New Delhi. I have to end in New Delhi. Because then that's like a hub. And you can go to different places from New Delhi. And I would have, so for instance, from the 27th of October until... Wait, let me just check the calendar so if i you know leave mumbai on the 27th or the 28th let let's just say the 28th just to be sure then that's one two that's three weeks for all the other cities uh, i don't know if that's enough man if i only have like three days in those cities that's that's really not my idea of relaxed traveling so let's just take a little bit more into account. Um, let's say I will arrive in New Delhi on the 22nd and then leave for Ladakh on the 24th, arrive there on the 25th and then stay there for a week. Then I can come back the 1st or 2nd December to New Delhi and then fly out to Mumbai again and be there like maybe the 6th or something definitely on time for comic con because it was somewhere in the beginning of december or half of december and then like i will probably be leaving india before christmas because i would like to spend christmas with my family so i know there are a lot of people who don't like booking anything at all i'm not that kind of person i like booking a little bit ahead not not too far ahead but a little bit ahead is good so yeah this is how i plan my travels i have a couple of places where i definitely want to go i want definitely want to go to kochi i definitely want to go to agra i definitely want to go to mumbai i want to go to the desert and ladakh is very high on my priority list but it's so far away that if it turns out to be too difficult i will just save it for another time because you know this is definitely not going to be the last time i go to india but yeah i would like to see it if i get the opportunity to see it so if you're also planning your trip i hope this was a little bit helpful although i don't know if my you know messy way of organizing a trip is helpful at all if you liked it put a thumbs up if you're not subscribed yet and want to follow my journey of going back to india please click subscribe and you can already watch my vlogs from the first time I was in India. I absolutely adored it. And yeah, go watch that. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Bye.